Why don't you students come with me? Some of our safety divers have actually set up a special area right next to this coral nursery just so that you students can see what outplanting a coral is really like. So I'm just going to grab my bag of tools here and we can get started. All right, so before we can outplant the coral, you students saw how we cleaned the corals. We measured them for total linear extension. We also want to make sure to pick corals that look 100% healthy. And then we know what their genetic history is or what their family is like. So on a lot of these corals, you may notice they have a bead that's a different color. This coral has a black bead. This coral has a yellow bead. And this coral has a green bead. Each of these beads signifies a different family that that coral came from. So that's something that we want to make sure to record before we outplant. Now I've got two corals here that were ready for outplanting. Um, let's see. I believe it's these two here. Yep. All right. So these are the two corals that we're going to outplant today. And as you can see, they don't have a bead. These are corals that we found in our nursery as broken fragments just kind of rolling around on the ground and we don't know what family they came from. So we call them unknown genotypes or they're from unknown family. So they have no bead associated with them. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use these wire cutters to cut the coral as close as possible at the base trying to leave as much of that monofilament line behind as possible. There we go. While our videographer Drew is getting things set up in the outplant area. Now, we are going to need some tools for this outplanting. So I'm going to make sure to take out our data sheet here, the same data sheet that you students use for your total linear extension. And then I'm going to take this big brush here. Now I do want to say, first things first, that this is a outplant site that was allowed, that we at CCMI are allowed to outplant to on the natural reef from a permit from the Department of Environment. So it may look like this is harmful to the reef, but overall this is for the benefit of the reef. So I'm going to clean around these nails to make it free of any algae. This is that, that bad algae we were talking about that competes with the coral directly. And we just want to make sure that the area we're outplanting to is totally free from any algae or sponges or encrusting algae that may make it hard for that coral to grow into the structure. Now after we've cleaned it really well, we're going to use a two-part marine epoxy to sort of like an underwater glue. It's two different colors, just barely. One is a little more gray than the other. One's a little bit creamy or white colored. And I'm just going to mix those up really, really well into what's called a homogeneous mixture. So homogeneous mixture means that you just can't tell the difference between the colors anymore. It all looks the same. Until it starts to give 
give off this kind of smoky look. Then you know that the underwater glue is about ready to use. It starts to get a little more easier to mix together as well. A little more malleable and it feels kind of like silly putty. I don't know if you guys actually still have silly putty or if that was totally a thing when I was a kid, but I think it might still be. <laughs> um, okay, so now you can see it's smoking pretty good to the point where you probably can't even see my face anymore. <laughs> and you only need a little amount, maybe the size of a Hershey's Kiss. And I'm gonna put it on the side of these nails. Just at the very, very base there. And I've got a bit of extra that I can keep on the side, just in case. And then we're gonna take a zip tie and we're going to zip tie this coral in place. So we squish the coral as best we can into that epoxy and then wrap this zip tie. If we can get two on there we'll try. Actually we may only need one for this one. And you gotta zip tie that coral in place on that nail as tightly as you can. You gotta pull that zip tie really hard. Okay? Because you don't want that coral to be able to move around at all because what's gonna happen is the coral tissue is going to grow over that zip tie. So it's not gonna harm the coral at all. The coral is gonna think that this zip tie is now a part of its internal skeleton. And it's gonna grow its tissue right over it as fast as maybe a week or two from now. Now this epoxy, you gotta push up into those coral polyps on the bottom so that it gets deep inside the coral skeleton and then again all around the base because same with the zip tie the coral is going to think that this is part of its skeleton and grow over it fairly quickly all right and the last step you want to trim this zip tie because the more zip tie there is, the more algae is actually going to grow on it. There we go. All right. So that coral is now outplanted onto the reef and will probably overgrow this zip tie and the nail and that epoxy on the bottom in maybe just a month or two, so not very long at all.